life of a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, back with another video. I got Larry Boothby here and he's got an extreme off-road. It's a five by nine, pretty sweet looking rig. So let's take a look. We'll take a closer look at Larry's uh, trailer here. Yep, we're good. So okay. what do you got, Larry? Well, we got a couple of things that are different than your standard extreme off-road. So the first one is gonna be this big box up here on the front, which has got a 50 liter Dometic, or a Dometic 55, I think is what it is. It's the biggest one that'll go in here. And it's on a Audi cab, so it comes out and drops down. And so because I put this thing in here, one of the things that we did was we changed the electrical system around a little bit to make it easier on me when I'm setting up at a campsite. Um, if, you, if you look down in here, and I'm not sure you can see or not because it's pretty dark, but there's two plugs down in there. There's a 12 volt plug, like a DC plug, and then there's an AC plug down in there, and they're both plugged into the back of the refrigerator because there's two plugs in the back of the refrigerator. And then what Wes did is he set up the battery system so that I have a power strip here, and then one of the eight, the, one of the AC plugs that goes to this box plugs in here. Then this plug here goes all the way to the back to another power strip, and then the DC plug for the refrigerator comes off the battery. I also have plugged into this power strip my charger, so the power strip itself comes over and it comes out right here, which is a three prong plug on the outside. So when I get to camp, if I've got power, I just take my electricity or my cable hook it to the shore power and plug in right there. And now my refrigerator is running off of shore power and my battery is charging. Nice. So nice that's addition. one of the best setups that I got going on. Yeah, right excellent. Here. Whoops. Um, the refrigerator, you gotta have a refrigerator. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, this is just. Yep, it's the way to go, definitely. It's the only way to go. Ice is, is just horrid. Yep. So now on the for the awning, I've got an Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning, which I am not going to pull out right now. No. That's... So you can look at Matt's Darchy. It's pretty much similar to the same thing. It comes from right here. So it'll cover the refrigerator all the way out and around, and it'll cover the entire back side of the, the trailer. So I've Perfect. got a nice, huge covered area. And uh, the OVS system is uh, a little bit cheaper than what's the one from South America or uh, South Africa? The Darchy? No, the South African. Oh, Alu Cab. Alu Cab. This yep. is really similar to the Alu Cab. It's got the big bars. You don't have to put feet down or anything like that. It'll free stand on its own yep. if you want to. It does have the legs. Um, I've never actually had to stake it down yet. Yeah, I've Everywhere staked I've mine camped, down a couple times. It's been times. pretty covered, so yep. I haven't had to stake it. Yep. Uh, it deploys in like two seconds. Put it back up. You're going to wrestle with it a little bit getting in the bag. And I think sure. everybody that's got one of these awnings has had to wrestle oh, with yeah. it when Absolutely. they get in the bag. Uh, I didn't get the windows on the doors because I didn't want to have to buy more drapes. Yeah, makes or sense. have more drapes made. Yep. Um, drapes are compliments of uh, my loving mother who loves to sew. And so she does nice things. And so she did, found, the, uh, found the material in the drapes. Um, so it looks like you did the standard interior configuration. It's a standard interior configuration. And then it looks like with the pillows here, you sleep with your head to I the front with, of the trailer. Yeah, I sleep with my head to the front of the trailer. Okay. I just like being next to the door. I've tried it the other way and it was just not, it wasn't for me. Not comfortable. So I sleep here and it's, you know, generally me, so yep. I'm single. So what do you got going with the tires? Okay, so the tires, normally the extreme off-road comes with 33 inch tires, right? They put big, uh, all-terrain tires and, and a lot of people that have you know the overland vehicle stuff they got a couple inches of lift on their tacoma um like taylor you yep. know she's she's got that uh, she's got that nice forerunner it's lifted she's running 33s on the on the tow vehicle she's running 33s on the trailer she's good well my tacoma is stock it's a trd off-road stock and i don't have 33 inch tires on it i'm not going to put 33 inch tires on it anytime soon yep did not want to have to carry extra spare uh, tire for just the trailer. Sure. So I talked to talked to Matt and or not Matt, but Wes. Excuse yep. me, fireman. No, hey, that's all, fine. All you firemen look the same. <laughs> um, <clears throat> talked to Wes about it, and I said, "Look, I want the same size tires and the same lug pattern as the tow vehicle, so I can just interchange tires as necessary." So that's what he did. Well, when he put these are 31 inch diameter um, Goodyear Wrangler all terrains. All right. And when he put them on initially, there was a lot of space in here between 
the fender and the tire, and it just looked the tires looked too small for the fender. So what he did is he took an inch off of the shackles on on them on the leaf springs and dropped the whole trailer down. And so I lost two inches of clearance on the bottom of the trailer, nice. which is fine because. The trailer's got more clearance than my truck does, so wherever the truck's gonna go, the trailer goes. Trailer the big go. thing that's nice, I can do this. Look at that. Touch the ground. His feet are touching the ground, no problem. He's not that high off the ground. Yeah. It's a little bit lower, and in fact, that was one of the things that Wes commented about when we were looking at it when I went to pick it up. He said, you know, it's so much easier to get in and out of this thing with it just a little bit lower. Sure. Um, now, of course, if you're going to be doing the really hardcore off-road stuff like Taylor's doing out there, yep. you're probably going to want as much clearance as you can. Plus, she's got the bigger tires on her tow vehicle, so it works that yep. way. And I'll link in the uh, description below, guys, the video to Taylor's trailer if you want to see that one. I'm going to tell you, she's hardcore. She's taking these things places that just, yep. man. So what's going on in the back? It's a standard. It is this, this is the standard. The only thing that I get that got that isn't standard is I've got the board. The okay. Board. And... Wes, if you're listening, you need to make this thing lockable so it doesn't slide back in. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got a water pump, and I've got the 21-gallon tank underneath. Yep. Uh, this is where the, the power comes out from the power box, and it powers the, the power strip over here on the side, which you can't really see very well. It's a little dark. I can turn some lights on if you need me to. No, okay. um, but Weber Q, don't leave home without it. That's That should come standard with a hiker trailer it right should. there. You should um, tell them that. Everest stove. The, the Everest stoves are the best. You can turn the heat down. They won't burn your stuff up. Um, and the rest of it's just, you know, your standard stuff for camping. Yep. Um, I haven't got any stuff on the door yet. I suppose at some point I'll put some stuff yeah, on Yeah, some people do, some don't. I got the 11-pound bottle here, and uh, I'm thinking about putting a Y connector on there so that I can hook up the stove and the and the grill at the same time because there's some times that I'm using them both. Yep. Uh, water, hot water heater. Perfect. I got the 230 changing room slash shower room. That's awesome. the one that, that Matt had. I saw his video and said, oh, I got to have one of those. And so we did that. Nice and addition then, to any trailer. And then, uh, you know, standard, same thing on the side as we had before. And then there's a lot of room on the back side of this thing. You can kind of see where the rack ends and where the junk starts. Sure. And so this kind of is like the trunk. <laughs> you know, whatever's left over that I can't find a place for, but I'm taking it with me, I, I take it. This thing here, for all you guys that are getting these off roads and you're going, how do I move this sucker around? I built that just I bought this thing at Harbor Freight and, and screwed a couple of screwed a couple of boards on there. And it goes underneath this side and then I can wheel it around in the garage and it takes the weight of the trailer with no problem. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Works out really yeah, well. Yeah, it works out real well. I just I, the only screws I had in there were, I don't know, I think they were masonry screws. No, they were sheetrock screws is what they were, but they're very long. and Yep, that works. So they stick out the back. I'm going to have to prune those off at some point. But that's it. That's I got the hookups for the air conditioner, but just like everybody else, we can't get an air conditioner right now because, yep. you know, there's supply chain going on. Are, supply chain is supply limited are, right now. So, um, well, thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. The vehicle is a Toyota... Hmm. Uh, it's a 2017 Tacoma 4x4. It's a TRD off-road. Uh, the only thing on there that's not stock is I got rock sliders on it. And that added about 150 pounds of weight to the vehicle. Okay. Um, but you can see it's not really sagging or anything like that. I know that there's been people that have been asking about, you know, towing a towing a, one of these trailers with a stock with a stock taco, and uh, I haven't had any problem with it. So nice. Perfect. Well, thanks for that walk around. No problem, Appreciate dude. it. I'm sure everybody out there will get a lot of uh, good ideas off looking at your trailer. I hope so. All right. Take care. Thanks.